Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make this window slider card. We're going to make this one today. So we're using the cute little stamp set called Welcome Easter. So when you pull this tab over here, it slides open and it reveals another message. And then also you can stamp a message over here. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love this card. And then here's another one I used under my umbrella stamp set with the Umbrella Builder Punch for this umbrella right here. So this one you slide it over. And you got a few messages. Rain or shine, you'll always be on my mind. And then no matter the weather, we're friends forever. <laughs> I love that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Balmy Blue cardstock. This is cut at 5.5 by 8.5, and, and we're going to score and cut this together. And then two pieces of Whisper White. This piece is cut at 2 and 3 8 by 4. And then this piece is cut at 3 and 3 quarter by 4 and 3 quarter. Okay, so let's grab our trimmer. Okay, so we're going to first score on the eight and a half inch side across the top. We're going to score at a half inch. And then four and a half. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn this cardstock to the opposite side over here. So this is the half inch score line that we scored just a few minutes ago. Now this is where we're going to take this edge over here and we're going to line this up at four and three quarter and then we're using the cutting arm we're going to take our cutting blade this time and we're going to line it up at three fourths hoping that's good i don't want to put my head in the camera so we're going to cut down from three fourths down to four and three fourths and your blade has a little notch here so you can see right where you're cutting so three fourths down to four and three fourths. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and slide it down to seven and a quarter and do the exact same cut. So three fourths. Move this down a little bit right there. Three fourths down to four and three fourths. Okay, so then after you cut it, kind of eyeball it make sure it looks pretty even if not you can cut the other side to match okay so that's my slit cut marks right here all right and then on this piece of the whisper white remember this piece is the three and three fourths by four and three fourths and we're going to cut along with the four and three fourths inch side across the top and we're going to cut this at two inches so line it up at two now the thing is with this is you're not going to cut it all the way through. You're just going to cut it almost all the way through. So this is still attached. Okay. All right. So that's all the cutting. All right. So then on our balmy blue piece, we're going to take this half inch score line and the four and a half. We're going to burnish those with the bone folder. So I'm going to add tear and tape on this half inch right here. So let me grab that. Okay. So now on your slits right here, this is going to be the front of our card. So we're going to take our, this is the three and three quarter by four and three quarter piece. We're going to take the smaller side, which is this two inch side right here. And we're going to feed this through the slit lines the slit cuts just like that and then flip it over now keeping this piece of whisper white in between those two score lines okay so let me show you this way so this is the inside of our card so you want to make sure that it's right between those score lines and then I'm just going to use two pieces of the tear and tape to connect this whole piece of whisper white piece together again And remember, we had to cut it to feed it through the cut lines. So now we're just going to attach it together again. So this is going to be your sliding mechanism right here. Okay. So, and you don't want to take the backing off of this tear and tape. So we're just using it as tape. Okay. All right. Now we're going to grab our one and a half inch circle punch. Now this is going to be the end that we're going to punch. So with this being cut in half, we're going to fold that forward. And we're going to punch a little finger hole here. So that will be a little piece of ribbon will be able to be attached to that slider part. 
so the receiver will know to pull that to make the card move and I'm lining the punch up this is the one and a half inch circle punch and I'm lining it up between those two cut lines okay and then this is the time to take your back piece if you want to add a layer for the back of your card and this piece is cut at let me see here make sure it's three and three quarter yep by five and a quarter okay so let me go ahead and attach this Okay, so before I seal up the card, I want to punch that whisper white overhang for the pull of the card. So then that's cut out just like that. Okay, so now they know to pull this part of the card and it doesn't interfere with the back side of the card. Okay, all right, now this piece of whisper white, this is your two and three eighths by four inch. This piece is going to slide right underneath that window right here that we're sliding. And you also want to keep this piece between the cut lines. I always like to do a dry run just to make sure that this is going to cover when I pull it. So like that. Yes, that looks really good right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a line here. So this is giving me a guide to where to stamp my images on either side. Okay, so we're going to take our stamp set called Welcome Easter, and this is the stamp set. We're going to use this little sheep and the bunny. We're also using the flowers, and then also Happy Easter for the other side of the card. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab my two animals. We'll go ahead and stamp those. And I'm going to use the Memento ink because I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends to color them. So I'm going to stamp my sheep over here on the right-hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to take my bunny, I'm also going to stamp him on this pull window over here. Make sure that's straight. Okay, so cute. Now before we seal up the card, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my border, which is going to be right around this edge of the card. Okay, so I'm going to take the flowers that are also in the stamp set, and they're right here. And we're going to take the same color as the cardstock, but in the classic ink. So we're going to take the balmy blue, and I'm just going to stamp around the border of my sliding window. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so then on my finished card, what I did is I used the chalk marker. So let me show you that. So this is the chalk marker, and we're going to fill in the flowers, the centers, with the chalk marker. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and seal up the card. And then making sure the whisper white is between our two score lines. Peel off the backing of our tear and tape. And then fold this over. And then you'll want to take your bone folder again just to reinforce those score lines. Okay, isn't that cute? So it slides like this. All right, so now let me go ahead and color in our cute little animals here. Let me grab my Stampin' Blends. So for my sheep, I'm using the Smoky Slate in the combo, and then also the Flirty Flamingo in the light for the bow. And then for his face, I'm using the Petal Pink Dark. And then for my bunny rabbit, I'm using the Crumb Cake in the combo, and then also the Flirty Flamingo in the light. And then I'm going to take the pool party and just outline the animals and then also use this for the grass for like rounding the animals.
Okay, so I'm going to take the the granny apple green, and I'm just going to add some grass at the bottom of his body here, and then as well as the bunny. Now there's also a stamp in this stamp set that gives you the grass. You can also stamp that, which I did do that on this previous sample. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add our Happy Easter. Let me grab that stamp. Okay, so let me bring in my Memento ink again. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Happy Easter. But then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then layer this onto another piece of Balmy Blue. So let me do that. Okay, so we got our Happy Easter. Now we're just going to put this on this side of the card. The sliding part will go over that. But you want to make sure you cover the whole layer with adhesive so it doesn't get caught on the window when it's sliding. So I'm leaving my pencil mark there to kind of guide me in where I want to put the Happy and the Easter. Okay. I think that looks good. All right, now we can go ahead and erase our pencil line. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on the back side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and slide this underneath our bunny rabbit. Making sure to keep See how this is coming out at the end there? We want it just right right on the edge. And then before I actually push it down, I want to make sure that this is sliding correctly. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. So that's the window slider card. Now we're going to add a piece of ribbon. And I'm using the silver metallic edged ribbon. I'm just going to put a little snippet down here at the edge. I'm going to crisscross it. And then just kind of eyeball it right in the middle of that window. Pull that out. And then take your stapler. I have my Stampin' Up! one here. Stamp, staple that. And then push that back in. I want to trim these tails down. So the receiver knows to pull that. Oh, I love it! Isn't it cute? I would add glitter to the bunny, to the chest right here of the bunny, and then add some glitter to the little lamb's bow there. Okay, so now that we got our ribbon here, we got to add another greeting on this side. So I'm going to use this stamp set, A Wish for Everything. And I already got the stamp out. Get my Memento ink again. And this one says, Sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet. Making sure I'm going to stamp this the right way. Yes. Okay, so this is going to fit. Making sure this is straight. There we go, just like that. I'm going to stamp it right between that ribbon and the punch out that we did with the one and a half inch circle punch. So they're sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. So you have lots of places to put greetings, even on the back side. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the other one. So here are the other two. Here's the one that I made previously. This one I did add the glitter to the chest and the little bow on the sheep. So cute. And then here's the one that's under my umbrella. So cute. I love it. This is also using the designer paper called Pleases Punch. And this designer paper is available until March 31st. I love it. Okay, so that's it. That's how you make that window slider card. If you have any questions, just let me know. And then I'll have all the items listed below. Okay, and then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.